Okay, welcome to part two of the DeLorean build. Uh, part two of the magazine is £4.99. Prices are slowly going up. Uh, there you can see the parts that you get included in the second issue. You've got the wing, there's a couple of bits of trim for the front wing and the remaining bits for the backlight from the first edition. And uh, if you go on to the next page you've got the assembly instructions. But we're going to ignore those, I'm just going to get on with it. Uh, the assembly is really quite easy. Um, we're going to start with the front wing here and there's these two little bits of trim that need to go onto the front wing and they're held in place by the AP screws. If you get confused, the AP screws are the small ones, the BP are the bigger ones. Um, Eagle Moss are very good at including extra screws, which is a, a godsend. If you've built previous uh, kits of this type, you'll know that running out of screws is uh, not good. But, uh, Eagle Moss always include a few extra, which is good. Okay, we're going to start with this uh, rear piece of trim that goes on the wing there. Just hold that in place. Put a couple of the uh, little AP screws in there. It is a bit of a fiddly job, but, uh, there's nothing complicated about it. Just uh, nip those up. I might turn it around that way and then you can see a bit better. Those a little bit of a nip. Don't over tighten these by the way because they are of course metal screws going into plastic and the last thing you want to do is strip the plastic. There we go. It's the first piece of trim in place there. And the second piece, it's only tiny, I presume it goes in there. Like so yeah, there we go. That doesn't seem to fit quite so well as the other one. Let's just try it. Check we've got it the right way around. Yeah, yeah, it's the right way around. Okay, and again, using an AP screw. Tighten it into place. Now that's not actually sitting very well. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it's actually sitting a little proud. So I think we're going to have a little modification going down here. I hope this isn't an indication that the build quality of the parts has gone down. And you'll see on the on the end of there, the screw goes in that bit and there's a location pin as well. And that location pin seems to be too long. It's not going all the way into the hole in the wind. So we can ah, ah, that's the answer to that. If you press it hard it clicks in place. There we are, panic over. That's sitting nice and flush now. Yeah, that's fine now. That had me worried for a minute. I thought we were going to have to get the file out. I'll 
Let's just knit that up. Like I say, just give them a nice little tweak. These screws don't don't overdo it. And that's the front wing finished for the moment. Two pieces of trim in place. The, just to, to comment on the finish, it really does look like brushed aluminium. I don't know how they're getting this paint finish, but it's absolutely excellent. It really does look like the DeLorean. I've seen the DeLorean in real life at a car show, and they really do look like this. Um, the quality is brilliant. This is another die cast part, incidentally. This is metal. I think it's going to be a really good quality kit. So that's the wing finished. Just going to put that over there. Uh, now, going back to the back end that we got from part one, we've got to reassemble the back lights, which is not difficult at all. Just put all the uh, plastic lenses in place. Make sure they click into place fully. Just give them a good, a good push, so they sit correctly in the frame. Reversing lights go at the end there, and of course the last bit in the middle. There's a tiny bit of writing, I think it says DMC, and that goes at the top. Okay, and that's that's the back lamp all assembled. I think we're right there. Now these are of course held in place by a BP screw, that's a larger one. And uh, They've included uh, two, you only need one, but they've given you two. And the best way to do it is to invert the, the back end and slip the back light in a bit like that. Let's see if that's worked. No, I'm not happy with that. I'll do that again. They are fiddly, these. Let's push everything back into place. This is the point where I think some people will be uh, coming out with some bad language. Does that look like it's sitting properly in the front? Yeah. I've just noticed that the reverse lights they ha they're handed they have a thick and a thin side oh, that's interesting, I didn't notice that before so the reverse lights go in that way that's better Yeah. right, let's try that again Try reversing that one. Yeah, that's all. That's all sitting correctly there.
And I've just spotted why that's not going in place. Let's just pop the uh, lenses out. That can stay in actually. Let's try test fit. The frame on its own. Ah, now you can see the problem here. That frame won't actually go in. And the problem is, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but that hole there, that slot, there's a whole load of bits of flashing. They haven't cleaned up the casting very well. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop the video, I'm going to go off to the workshop, I'm going to get one of my little files out, and I'm just going to file out that hole there. And just get all the bits of uh, flashing off there and uh, clean up that a little bit so i shall be back in a moment <laughs> 